Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. In week, Monday, second week of Lent, let us include in our Holy Mass the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Lito and Lori Zapanta, Marlon, Joyce, and Ira Takdol, Alfredo Catli Antonio, Lourdes Catli Collado. For the birthday thanksgiving of Archbishop Florentino Apungdong Lavarias, Didi, Princess Zabria Salas, Don Francis D. Abillonar, Abillonar, Lowell Sanguyu, Michael Francis Sanguyu, Kagawad Joey Manalo. For the special intentions of Mario De La Cruz, Mark and Michelle Rivera, Herminio Lynette Nukum and family, Eleanor Ventura, Phil Janet Castro and family, Bernie Baby Henson and family, Jeremy Robes, Arman and Mariette Nang, Rosana Reyes, Jimmy and Inday Santo Domingo, Patrick and Sarah Goquinko. For healing, speedy recovery, and good health of Alvin and Ezekiel Dorf Bustos. Levi Martin Mendoza. Lisa Layag. Christine Ann Mendoza. Alevia Mendoza. Patria Fe Santos. Generato P. Basilio. Edith Esguera, Oriae Yuna Soto, Lani Pineda Reyes, Albert Sonko, Rebecca Gans, Aileen Buan Perez, Violeta Bautista Manalo, Claudita L. Tolentino, Remigio Gonzalez, Miguel Del Rosario, Lucia Ciron Infante, Suzette Reyes, Joan Pamela Nang Season, Teresa Aquino Aison, Tennessee Rason Roque, Luz Un Ocampo, Edel Umlas, Sonia Madlangbayan Agabon, Tyrell Blue L. Galvez, Efren Makapinlak, Zenaida Kiazon, Purificacion Ocampo Zapanta, Eller Vitu, Gloria Panlilio, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Vilma Patawaran, Janush Nukup, Edi Kiambao, Edi Emmanuel Kiambao, Leandro G. Canlas, Risi Taylor, Milagros Salonga, Jose Vargas, Francisca Medina Sunglao, Genemino N. Asuncion Umlas, Johanna Carmona, Flor Feliciano Medina, Anita Maniti, Paulina Magtoto, Pacifico M. Gonzalez Jr., Marcelo P. Austria, Faustino Santa Maria Jr., Luciana S. Olalia, Renato De Lara, Elena Parico, Vicente and Ellen Tantamco, Alex Resurrection, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Maria Teresa Morales, Magno and Francisca Hippolito, and all poor souls in purgatory. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us so far. Trees still bend, though straight and tall. So much we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and leaving deeply our new life. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening po. Good evening po, Amo. Let us celebrate this Mass with God's mercy, for we are also called to be merciful like the Father, to forgive and to be forgiven. My dear friends, for the times that we fail to forgive others, we ask the Lord to forgive us in a sense that the Gospel today invites us to do so. Together we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please remember your prayer. Call to mind your intention in this Mass. O God, who have taught us to gestation our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of Prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on our side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery towards you. O Lord, we are shamefaced, like our kings, our princes, and our fathers, for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, our compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebel against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsor or sound, let our response be, Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember that against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoner's sign come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, We'll give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Please stand in honor of the Holy Gospel. 
Glory to you, O Word of God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Word of God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Glory to you, O Word of God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Word of God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give gifts will be given to you. And a good measure packed together, shaken down and flowing, overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will be, in return, be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Like Father, like Son, we hear this expression as Pag yung anak parang kamukhang kamukha ng tatay o yung tatay kamukhang kamukha ng anak. Para bang tanong, what is your inheritance from your father? Nangama na mukhang tata mo. Nangama na mukhang ima mo. It can be like mother, like daughter, or like father, like daughter, or daughter, like father. But it, what did you inherit? Nano yung ama na mo? Usually when we talk about inheritance, we talk of this in the material nature. How much? Magkano yung mana mo? How many? Marakal? Mas madakal ka rin kapatid na? What is the monetary value? Maliit ang bale? Maliit ang gabon? This is measured and usually quantified. Ita nga mamanang asusukad. Ita nga mamanang akit mo magkano. This is called material inheritance. House and lot, business, maybe bank account savings, investments, jewelries, gabun, even cars. However, my dear friends, there's something that inheritance can be more than material things. It's called inheritance that is quantitative or sorry, qualitative, the quality of your person. Inherit the quality of person, the substance of character and the values of your parent, of your father, of your mother. Ah, mana ne ulaga ing pamag ugali ng mana, mapamyeya. Ah, mana ne ugali tatana, masipagya, mapangadiya. Ama na ni ugali tata na mapamatawad yan. Kanino yung magbaning anak? Like father, like son, maybe DNA? Can be the genes? It can also be about our way to forgive. Misan po sa isang subdivision where I was celebrating mass a long time ago, more than 20 years ago, Mayroong isang uh, babae, nagsisimba, araw-araw yung daily mass. Alam ko yung upuan niya. And then after some time, matagal na siya nagsisimba. Sabi niya, Father, after yung misa nila doon, alas 6 ng umaga. Sabi niya, Father, pwede kang sumama sa amin. Ipapaanoin ho namin yung asawa ko. Nabigla ako, mayroon pala siyang asawa. Kasi wala naman siyang kasamang nagsisimba ni minsan. 
So, it was a Tuesday morning. Sumama ako sa kanila. Wala naman akong schedule immediately. At nung pumunta po kami, alam niyo po yung mga bahay, misan sa barangay, malaki yung bahay. Tapos papasok ka, mayroong compound. Tapos sa loob, mas malilit yung bahay. Yung bahay nila nasa dulo, nasa skinita. Malit lang yung po bahay. Doon pumasok po ako, hindi naman po ako matangkad. But I have to bow down. Duko ka, bayo kami lugget ang balik. Obviously, it was not big. Eh, pumaragul. Eh, man matas. I anointed the sick man and uh, the woman who invited me to anoint was crying. Kikyakya po. Pati rin anak na. As they were crying, I noticed itang kyak the malalam. It's coming from the gut. Malalam po yung kanilang kyak. Bakit kaya nga ako? Bakit kaya? Kung misan ay talagang umiyak sila kasi malapit ng mamatay yung tatay nila o ang asawa niya. Pero ito parang mayroong mas mabigat sa kanilang iyak. You can feel it. Ating malalam at mabayat kayong kyak daw. So after the anointing, kasama ko po yung mga taga pastoral council ng chapel. Sabi ng babae, Father, pwede po akong magkwento ng konti sa'yo. Eh, malit lang po yung bahay, no? Kasama ko po yung mga taga-parokya. Yung tawag doon sa mga kasama ko, yung, alam niyo po yung mga broadcaster, B, broadcaster sa parokya, BSP. <laughs> Hindi po sila... <laughs> Mungang interesado sa kukwento ng babae. Tara po, doon po tayo sa labas ako kasi ako mas presko. Sabi po itong babae, nagkwento siya. Alam mo po, Father, itong tatay namin, itong asawa ko, dating big time na contractor yan. Big time. Yung kontrata niya, malalaki. Yung kunyari, mga bangko. Mga kliyente niya, bangko. Renovation and repainting. Siyempre, yung mga bangko, yung kanilang mga branches buong Pilipinas. Big time po kami noon, Father. Malaking bahay namin noon, Father. Kaya lang itong asawa ko, malit po yung mga bata, mayroon siyang project sa Visayas, hindi na po siya umuwi. Hindi na po nagparamdam, hindi na po siya tumawag, wala pang cellphone noon, wala pang Facebook. Mahirap yung communication. Wala na. Basta hindi na lang po dumating ang asawa ko. Itong mga anak ko, lumaki sila, walang tatay, walang tatay nila. Hanggang uh, gumraduate po sila ng high school. Gagraduate na po sila ng high school, wala na po kong pera, wala ng savings. Alam niyo po ang ginawa ko? With the permission of my children, binenta namin yung bahay namin. Dan kaya nandito po kami sa malit na bahay. Para lang may pera kami, araw-araw, at saka may panggasto sa pag-aaral itong mga anak ko. Suddenly, Father, a few months ago, may tumawag sa amin na nakpagsabing itong asawa ko may sakit at gusto niyang umuwi sa Pampanga. Gusto niyang umuwi sa amin. Alam niyo po, tinanong ko yung mga anak ko. Sabi ko sa mga anak ko, Uwi daw yung tatay nyo. May sakit. Hindi po kilala ng mga bata, tatay nila. Hindi po sila lumaki sa kanya. Pero wala silang narinig na masama sa, sa, sa nanay nila tungkol sa tatay nila. She did not bad mouth. Hindi niya minura. Hindi niya sinira ng tatay nila. Kahit sa totoo, iniwanan sila. Naghirap po sila. Nagdusalit sila. Alam po ni nung mga anak nila, college na college. Yung sa high school, yung bunso. Sabi ng mga anak, Ma, tanggapin natin si tatay. Hindi namin pwedeng ayan ng tatay na nasa, nasa, nasa kalye o mapabayan na walang pamilya. Tayo ang pamilya. Alam niyo po, umiiyak ako nung pinagdarasal niyong asawa ko. 
Hindi lang po dahil sa asawa ko may sakit. Para sa mga anak ko. Nakita ko sila, kahit lumaki silang walang tatay, wala po silang galit sa kaloba nila. Wala silang tinanim na masama sa kaloba nila, sa kanilang ama. Sila pang nagsabi sa akin, Ma, tanggapin natin si tatang. Huwag natin siya ngayang palaboy-laboy sa daan. Kami ang kanilang pamilya. You know what she was grateful for? Itong mga anak niya, sila ay mapagpatawad, mapamakalunos, mapamakalulo. They are merciful. Siguro na mana nila ito sa nanay nila. Kahit anong ginawa ng tatay nila, ang asawa niya sa anda, wala silang narinig sa kanyang masama tungkol sa asawa niya. And their children now, themselves, are merciful. Kung ano po yung nakikita ng mga bata sa ugali natin para sa ibang mga tao nagkakamali, baka ganun din po yung mamamana nila sa atin. Siyempre, maganda yung may mamamanang pera, mamamanang bahay, negosyo, mga ari-arian. Pero napaganda kung ang mga bata o mga apo ninyo matuto silang maging mapagpatawad. Kamukha ng ating Ama, Diyos, na mapagpatawad. Inherit the value while you are young. Otherwise, it might be too late. Or the inheritors might be too old. Sinasabi ko lang kung meron kayong pinapamana sa mga anak niyo at apo, habang bata sila, turuan nyo na sila habang nakikinig. Kasi ako misan, pag matanda na sila, hindi na nila ma-absorb. Hindi na nila makikita yung grasya ng kanilang mana, ng kalooban ng mabuting pagkatao. Misan, may kilala po ako, masyadong mahaba yung buhay niya. Hindi po siya kagad na matay. Ang prinsipyo niya, ipapamana niya kanyang ari-arian pag namatay na siya. Kaya lang, more than 95 po siya nung namatay siya. 96 yata. Yung manak niya, nung namana nila yung mana nila, more than 60 years old na po sila. Masyado nung matuwak. They did not enjoy. They did not able to use to the fullest the inheritance. Sana namana nila nung medyo bata pa, no? para magamit nila sa bagong buhay, sa puhunan ng kanilang mga anak at apo. While they are young, let us around them, allow them to inherit not only material things, but the quality of our character as Christians, the quality and the values of our life. Like father, like son, or maybe for my story, like mother, like children, merciful. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. Jesus, you are the face of the Father's mercy, as you showed us mercy. May we in turn be merciful to our brothers and sisters. Lord, teach us to be merciful. Lord, teach us to be merciful. Grant the, the season of Lent may become a favorable time to overcome our alienation from God and neighbor by listening to God's word and by practicing the words of mercy. We pray. Lord, teach us to be merciful. Grant that we may become more and more a church of mercy and never become a society that ignores, pushes others to the margins or excludes them. May we never allow the throwaway culture to enter our hearts. We pray. Lord, teach us to be merciful. Help us, O Lord, that our eyes may be merciful so that we may never suspect or judge from appearances but look for what is beautiful in our neighbors souls and come to their rescue we pray lord teach us to be merciful help us O lord that our tongue may be merciful so that we should never speak negatively of our neighbor 
but have a word of comfort and forgiveness for all. We pray. Lord, teach us to be merciful. May the Blessed Virgin Mary help us to grow in compassion and to increasingly leave that inseparable bond between our love for God and generous love for our brothers and sisters. We pray. Teach us, Lord, teach us to be merciful. In silence, we offer to the Lord our personal intentions. O God, you kept your covenant of mercy and compassion from age to age. We have sinned. Forgive our wrongdoings and help us to be merciful to those who wronged us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Bless our you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Forever. Amen. Pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in your goodness. These are prayers, O Lord, and set free from the worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that their self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels. And with one voice, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Bishop, and all the priests and all our friends who serve in our church, especially here in our parish at the Holy Cross. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all together pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from me. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the joyful hope, the blessed hope, for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I give you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The love, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let's share with one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. I love you and desire to receive you in holy communion. At this moment, I cannot receive you in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Come then spiritually and dwell in my heart. I embrace you and unite myself totally to you. 
May I never be separated from you. Amen. In Him alone is our hope. In Him alone is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved. Does not fade or wither. Can the world ever satisfy the emptiness in our hearts? In vain we deny. In Him alone is our hope. In Him alone. Is our strength in Him alone? Are we justified in Him alone? Are we saved? Let us pray. Confirm the hearts of your faithful, O Lord. We pray and strengthen them by the power of your grace, that they may constantly make supplications to you and sincere in your love and love for one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered. Go, celebrate, protect, and use the inheritance you receive from the Father. Thanks be to God. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees to bend, though straight and tall. So much we to others fall. Lord,